Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Boss with Famas with 100 rating versus John BRB Jones with also 100 rating, so this is going to be a low rated match, but this is going to be a post LEDE replay, and let's go ahead and hop right in, and also I have two replays in this one video for y'all, so we're going to go ahead and hop right into this, we're going to see Boss with Famas win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and then they will decide to go first 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Capybara Fusion, Animal O'Clock, Master Ball, Koala Time, and Angry Koala. They have Bikini Bottom Gary, Bikini Bottom Mrs. Puff, Bikini Bottom, uh, SpongeBob's Nemesis Bubble Bass, and then Bikini Bottom. But this is the one that has the protection effect on it, uh, while this one doesn't. A little bit different, a little bit different. Um, but okay, let's go ahead and hop right in. So they're going to start with Animal O'Clock to go ahead and search. That's going to grab out a Rescue Capybara. And then normal summon, and then they're going to be activating its effect. The opponent doesn't have any hand traps in hand, and if you don't open any hand traps against the Capybara deck, um, it's kind of hard to break the board, especially with a hand that's this good. Holy, I didn't even realize it. Like, we also have, like, a Master Ball to extend to. So they're going to go rescue Capybara, go summon out the Koala and the Kangaroo. Uh, these are just one of bricks that you play. Uh, you just have to play it so that way you can play Rescue Capybara because it's so good. So now they're going to make Kuluhu Capybara effect, discard Angry Capybara. They say, can you say okay or hold the thumbs up button on? So I hate people like you who slow play and play broken decks. If I see one hand trap, I'm leaving. I don't care. Uh, I'm just going to play. Let me know if you have a response. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and search out Animal Fusion. They already have Capybara Fusion in hand, so... Obviously, like, they're not going to go search another one of these since they already have it. Um, now they're going to go ahead and activate Hula Hoop, Tribute, Summon back out Koala from the Graveyard. So that way they can link those off up into the Capybara Druid, the Summoner. Um, yeah, you have to attribute the link to bring back out from the Graveyard because this can't take a Capybara. Like, you can't use a Capybara to make a Capybara unless if you're using the original OG Capybara, the normal monster. So now they're going to go ahead and summon out Druid, Effect, Reveal the killer animal, and then go ahead and summon out from the deck the angry koala. So this is good to already put on field. This is already going to be an interruption for the opponent's turn. Uh, it says once per turn on the opponent's turn, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Uh, so they're going to summon that out and then activate Druid to Tribute and summon back out the koala and the kangaroo. And then activate koala time special summon out. Okay, I'll link all those off into the forest bard and then activate forest effects So that's gonna go ahead grab out the koala fusion the quick play spell uh, Which this you know banish from the graveyard or field and then go ahead fusion summon you can add this back if you have a fusion monster uh, This is one of the new cards for the deck that's gonna help it out a lot uh, So they're gonna go ahead banish bring out kangaroo mommy and then new chain link They're gonna go mommy one clock two and he said, bro, hurry up. Said, holy, your deck sucks. Said, don't talk about my deck like that. Just play. All right, sure. So they get the draw one, discard one off the clock. So draw koala time, discard koala time. And then the mommy's going to go ahead and search for a capybara kangaroo. And then since we'll have five cards in hand or less, we get the draw one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab out Playful Capybara and Kangaroo Protector. So this is a, this is another one of the new cards, Kangaroo Protector. So its first effect is decent. You can discard this card from your hand. This turn your monsters can't be destroyed by card effects. So this makes it a lot easier to play into like the Mirror Matches end board. Uh, since like they're setting up like, you know, Angry Koalas. Uh, they're setting up the Koala Fusion, you know, stuff like that. They're trying to pop multiple times. So th this is really good into the Mirror Match. Um, but then also its other effect is you can banish a card from the graveyard to add a koala card from the deck to the hand. So that gives you like way, way, way easier access into your koala engine of the deck. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead, draw Capybara and Friends. Oh, that's kind of a broken draw. I'm not going to lie. And now they can discard the playful Capybara. Uh, oh, wait, wait, never mind, never mind. They, they already resolved clock. That's right, that's right. They were just using Mommy to go ahead and draw there. Okay. So now they're going to activate Capybara Fusion. Go ahead, search for the Capybara Hunter Trap. And then now they're going to activate Animal Fusion. And since, you know, it's Animal Fusion, they can use this as a Capybara from the graveyard. So banish, use the Playful, bring out Capybara, Capybara. And now Playful's in the graveyard. So now whenever we go ahead and fuse with our Capybara Forest and banish this, we can add a Kangaroo. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and summon that out, and then we're going to activate Clock uh, to go ahead and draw, discard. Kind of unfortunate that we drew uh, Capybara and friends there, because we just have to discard it. Um, now we're going to activate Forest to go ahead and banish, summon out Koala and Capybara, 
new chain link we're gonna go animal o'clock one koala capybara two playful cappy three so that's gonna go ahead search out for it angry kangaroo and then go ahead equip the druid and you know once again i i, I don't know how unlucky you have to get to keep drawing like this because like this time we don't even want to discard the capybara and friends because like you want to have access to like multiple of the trap sadly we have to have multiple of the traps set up right away preferably you get to hold one in deck and it's more follow-up but you know it's whatever we just discard the master ball here we got the combo usually master ball is what helps you uh extend through like an angry koala or something in the mirror match um or you know like in the brazzers matchup the johnny sins can go ahead and pop so you, you need you just need extenders uh so they're gonna go koala fusion effect add back set capybara friends hunter trap capybara friends koala fusion so here we have angry koala pop koala capybara pop we have fusion into another koala and capybara and then that will give us another pop we have hunter's trap which can negate a summon from the extra deck we have special summon back out oh my this is actually insane we can summon out an angry koala off the trap and then we can actually fuse this one away and capybara and friends summon out another one wow so that, that does make you think though maybe they could have kept capybara and friends and done this a little bit differently but maybe not though just because this has to equip uh and we don't have like the setup or anything to like try to equip on the opponent's turn yeah yeah okay okay Th this is fine this is fine they said finally all right pass they draw plankton for turn not a good draw there so don't act like you can break this board said we will see said bro make a play it's been like seven minutes uh just looking yeah it started at 12 to 19 now oh my gosh so this is unreal 10 minutes now yeah it's been 10 minutes so i'm not sitting here while you insult me like this and they leave the game okay to be fair though i don't think they're playing through this right because we have pop 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 negate summon pop pop <laughs> so we have six pops uh and if they play three angry koala which isn't that normal uh in the format then they still have angry kangaroo that can bring out a angry koala or they can just angry kangaroo bring out like koala time and go search for follow-up by grabbing animal o'clock and then this can grab us uh one of our animal cards on the next turn so that is going to be it for the first match i really wish that match would have played out a little bit more i don't think the opponent would have been able to push through it there it would have been really hard um but you know having like uh this bikini bottom in hand is actually like really really important um because this says once return of a spongebob monster you control will be strive out our card effect you can just send a water from the decks of the graveyard instead and a lot of people don't know how to play against the bikini bottom matchup yet so you can go ahead and get a free dump and then like just stop a pop and then you can dump something like gary and then gary can summon itself out to a, a zone where a link monster points to so maybe they could have pushed through that but i kind of doubt it um but okay let's go ahead and hop into the second match now so now we have studs group chat with 100 rating versus john brbp jones with 100 rating and then we're going to go ahead and see john brb jones win the rock paper scissors shoot and then they will go ahead and decide to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we have animal o'clock anime terraforming sleepy capybara angry capybara and angry kangaroo okay yeah drawing angry kangaroo going second is just absolutely broken like I don't even know how to describe it it's like when you're playing fruit fruit and you draw a mango plus banana like it's just like what are you supposed to do you know like it's, it's nice it's nice um but this deck does have a way to somewhat i don't want to say beat it but they do have a way to get rid of a little bit of follow-up from this deck uh so they have bikini bottom sandy master ball meme spongebob bikini bottom plankton and bikini bottom spongebob this is also why the brazzers deck has like completely fallen off because sandy's from texas so it has a really good matchup but the only problem is the bikini bottom deck has a pretty bad matchup into the animal deck so it's like it's kind of like a it's kind of like a triangle format almost um but playing the brazzers deck's really risky and then obviously the fruit fruit deck got hit on the last ban list so that deck's kind of rng now um but they're gonna go ahead and start with bikini bottom spongebob summon and then whenever it's summoned go ahead and search they're gonna chain the angry kangaroo to go summon out angry koala which we know angry koala will be able to go ahead and pop they're gonna search out bikini bottom and then on res they're gonna koala pop 
Uh, this deck does have a few extenders that you can activate, uh, like Bikini Bottom Sandy, etc., etc. You know, if you control a Bikini Bottom Monster, reveal this card from your hand, special summon it. So they just want to go ahead and, uh, you know, try to make it so that way they can't play here, but it's definitely not going to work. We can see the Master Ball in the opponent's hand. Uh, that's like an easy extender. Um, also... I don't think it was correct to search out the Bikini Bottom Field Spell, because they actually could have searched that off of Pearl later on. Uh, oh, but I guess they can go ahead and search the other Bikini Bottom Field Spell. Okay, sure, that's fine. So they're going to search SpongeBob's Nemesis Bubble Bass. Sure, that's usually a going second card that you search. Um, so I play a bit faster, so I'll play as fast as I want to. They said, okay. Uh, so now they're going to activate Master Ball to bring out SpongeBob's boss, Mr. Krabs. And then Effect one and Special Summon to go search out for the Krabby Patty. And then Krabby Patty summon back out the Bikini Bottom Spongebob from the graveyard. Link off into Mindy. And then Mindy Effect. This can go ahead and dump the water. So we're going to dump Gary from the decks of the graveyard. And this is what I'm talking about. How they can like interrupt the follow-up. Because uh, now they can shuffle one card from either graveyard into the owner's deck. So they're going to be putting back the Angry Kangaroo there. Uh, which is definitely a little bit tough losing access to the kangaroo stuff. But if we look at the hand, you know, we have koala on field, capybara on hand, and we can just go ahead and search kangaroo and we're back in there, baby. So now go ahead, summon out Gary from the graveyard off its effect. Link off, go up in the Patrick. Patrick effect, discard special summon back out. Yeah, maybe we should have summoned out Bubble Bass the first time before even making a Link 1. Just because we kind of played into a hand trap there on Patrick, because to summon Bubble Bass, you have to have SpongeBob. So if we got hand trap there, that, that, that may have hurt a little bit. Uh, but now they're going to go ahead, activate, summon out. Actually, no, it's fine. It's fine, right? Because we still have SpongeBob's boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. I'm wrong. Yeah, this, this deck's still kind of new. Um, they're going to go ahead, use its effect, go ahead, search the You Forgot the Pickles. And then. They said thinking here, okay, link off in the Squidward, Squidward effect, go ahead, search Clary the Clarinet, that's fine. Yeah, it feels like, feels like there's misplaying a lot. Like, they're searching all these cards that are really good going second, but they're going first here, and the opponent has already established an angry koala. I know the deck can out it super easily, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They're going to summon out Sandy. Feels like there's kind of wasting bodies. They didn't even put Squidward up in the extra monster zone. So, like, Clary the Clarinet won't even get to activate its effect. of just current summon back out of SpongeBob from the graveyard. Um, so, now they're going to go up into the David, David Hasselhoff. And then effect to pop the Angry Koala. Sure. That's fine. Equip Clary the Clarinet. Set. Activate Meme SpongeBob. Hold on. Let me get some water. Out of water. Gosh, yes. It's, it's like the Spongebob movie. Okay, but now activate. Meme Spongebob. So this, you know, once per turn down to either player's main phase, quick effect, you can switch the attack and defense of any monster your opponent controls, and they lose 500 life points. So, again, I'm not really sure how the opponent's assigned to play this deck. This card is typically just sided in for time, just because, like, you know, lose 500. Uh, you can use the... There's, like, a combo, so pretty much you use Bubble Bass, Search the You Forgot the Pickles, activate, it gives the opponent the Spongebob, you activate Meme Spongebob, target, they lose 500 life points, you know, ha 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 ha, I win in time, I'm up in life points. But, they're deciding to go for all this turn one, game one. Uh, but okay, pass, they draw Capybara and friends, so now they're going to activate Terraforming, uh, go ahead, grab out Animal O'Clock, and then activate Animal O'Clock to go search for Angry King Guru, so now if the opponent wants to interrupt our plays... We're going to go Angry King Guru, go summon out a Koala from deck. So, normal summon out Sleepy Capybara. This doesn't actually do anything here. This is just going to make the Link 1. Uh, so, yeah, they said that's fine. Because, I mean, obviously, if they try to stop this, we just Angry King Guru and we just keep going anyway. So, now, summon out Hula Hoop, Effect, Discard, Animal, O'Clock to go search for Capybara Fusion. Which I think is a misplay there. They definitely should have searched out the other Fusion spell, the Animal Fusion. Because the Capybara Fusion is kind of bad there. Yeah, it's kind of bad there. I mean, it's like, sure, if they can break the board, then they can grab, like, a trap card. That's fine, but um, they definitely could have gone for game if they searched for the other one, I think. Because we know this set is the... You forgot the pickles. So now they're going to tribute something back out, Angry Koala. Uh, they're trying to use the effect there, but you can't do that. It says once per turn on the opponent's turn. Yeah, if this card was either player's turn like that, oh my 
gosh, this deck would actually, like, this deck's already probably the best deck post-LEDE, but it'd be actually broken. So, they're going to try to pop the link, they're going to chain the link to go pop, and they chain Angry Kangaroo. Yeah, the opponent's just getting cheated here. That's actually so sad, because otherwise, we would have just summoned Angry Capybara. We would have linked off in the link, too, and then they pop it, and then what, we Angry Kangaroo do what, right? Like, we can't really, so there's, like, not that good of koalas to go for there. And there actually, there could have been still if they searched the Animal Fusion, but they searched for Capybara Fusion. So they actually could have played around the David Haf Hasselhoff here, but maybe they didn't know that Angry Cap or Angry Koala worked like this. So now, yeah, they're going to get David Effect to go ahead and summon back out from the graveyard what they used to link someone into that. And then they get the SpongeBob Effect. Since it's someone to go search, they're going to search out Bikini Bottom, the Golden Spatula. And that's fine. Uh, so let's see if I can end the game. Said, if you can, I got infinite follow-up. Good luck, have fun. Angry effect, go pop. This, this just sucks. I actually just don't know how this card works. Otherwise, this could be a completely different game. Uh, yeah, now they're going to go angry capybara, special summon out. I'll just that way they can make the link too. And then activate its effect. Reveal the killer animal. Go ahead, summon out the angry kangaroo there. I think they're just doing that as a body. They probably should have brought out Angry Capybara, though, uh, so that way later on, because they're going to have to banish this one, so they have access to another one, so they can use its effect to equip to the Koala Fusion, uh, so that way they have another send-off of it. But, yeah, you know, a little bit of a misplay there. Yeah, again, they just don't know how this card works. It's actually so sad, because I actually think Bikini Bottom had a chance. Like, if their opponent messed up, they had a chance, because they had so much follow-up, like... You have Mindy that can use its effect to banish and put back a banished monster on the next turn. So, like, that's more follow-up. You have Patrick that can banish to summon itself out. That's follow-up. So, like, they had a decent amount of follow-up. They have Golden Spatula in hand. It's just so sad. Um, so, now they're going to link off, make the Capybara Forest effect. Go search out the Koala Fusion. Activate the Capybara Fusion there to go search out. That's fine. Grab out the trap. Activate Forest. Banish. Summon out Kangaroo Mommy. And then they're going to activate Clock 1 Mommy 2. So go ahead and search out Kangaroo Protector. Sleepy Capybara. And then draw one. Oh my god. There's actually just no way we draw Animal Fusion Capybara Reborn there. Okay, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they actually just got so lucky. They played this not great. And they cheated. And they... There's just no shot. Said Y draw two. Yeah, the fusion draws one, and then the field spell will draw one, then discard one. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and activate the koala fusion there. So we're going to go ahead and banish, summon out the killer animal, and then killer animal effect to go ahead and search for the angry capybara and the angry kangaroo. Uh, that was a misplay there, though, right? Because we should have actually done chain link one animal, a clock chain link two killer animal, and then we could have gone ahead and discarded the angry capybara. So that, we have, that way we could Capybara Reborn to summon back out the Angry Capybara. And that's an extra 25 attack. But now we're going to go Koala Fusion at back. And this is starting to get crazy. Uh, activate Kangaroo Protector. Discard. Banish. Go search out Koala Time. You know, get access to the Koala like we talked about earlier. Activate Animal Fusion. You know, banish the Capybara Fusion from the graveyard. Use the Koala Time. Make Koala Capybara effect to go ahead and equip an Animal O'Clock to draw Discard. Even there, they had the chance to still fix their mistake, and they just didn't discard the Angry Capybara. Yeah, they obviously got to be kind of new to this deck. I mean, it still doesn't come out for a couple weeks still, so, like, you know, people have time to, you know, correct their mistakes. Also, this sends. This doesn't destroy. So it does play around the uh, Clary the Clarinet. Uh, that makes this that way. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, yeah, then they go battle phase. Yeah, they just submit the feet. Said, what a stupid deck. Get better. You could have set up Squidward, I think. Uh, Should have got Bikini Bottom off Pearl, but sure, you blame my deck for you playing bad. Said, so just shut up and let the game do the talking. Okay. I mean, to be fair, they're the ones that, like, started it there. Um, but whatever. Okay, so now going on to the next game, we got Koala Fusion, Sleepy Capybara, Rescue Capybara, Animal O'Clock, and Koala Time. So this time we don't open up the Kangaroo. Uh, we don't open up any of the hand traps either. We don't open up like the Ash Blossom or anything like that. Um, they have SpongeBob's Boss, Mr. Krabs, Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob, Ash Blossom Tree, Bikini Bottom, Plankton, and Master Ball. Ugh, okay, okay, okay. They actually opened like a perfect hand. Um, so they said thinking, bro, again, play faster. Uh, 
have they taken a while or something? It hasn't been that long, okay? I mean, it took like a minute, but you know, these decks are still new. And, th and this is a really good hand too, right? Like we have SpongeBob Normal Summon. We have Master Ball Special Summon. We can end up bringing out Plankton, which brings out the token, and then use this to discard and draw. So we can discard Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs effect to discard Special Summon out. And then we can use that effect to go ahead and search for the Krabby Patty, which is an extender in the SpongeBob. We have Ash Blossom Tree um, as like an interruption. Well, not, oh, wait, wait, this won't be an interruption there, though. But if the opponent activates, oh, wait, that's actually broken, because if they activate the Kangaroo, we can chain Ash Blossom Tree, discard to go search for Monster. Oh, and that can grab out the Sandy Cheeks. Okay, I'm seeing the line now. So they said BRBP, and they want... Activate, not this time, buddy. Yeah, so if your opponent says BRBP, you can activate this card from your hand or deck, and the opponent must stay and wait until after the match. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's fair to side in. Uh, especially with the opponent's name, right? Like, they kind of gave it away. So, like, we... Yeah, they, they kind of gave it away there. I'm not going to lie. So, so Chainlink2 uh, said, I need more time to think. Said, stop rushing me. I hate players like you who play the best deck all the time. Said, you need to find a new hobby. I'm calling Judge if you don't play. I said, do it then. By the time, by the time one shows up, this match will be over. Oh, they said hello. Issue. Ah, yeah. Judge is already here. Ha. <laughs> yeah, they they were not expecting that. I said my opponent won't play. They say they're thinking, but it's nonstop slow play. I said, is there a reason you aren't playing? I need more time to think than normal people. The judge paused the game. Okay, well, that's not going to stop the slow playing, right? Uh, I said, I've seen enough. You've done this to every animal player you've played this week. You're gone, buddy. Wow, gave them the match loss. Are they about to get frozen? Said, what? Why? Next time I show up to your match, you will be frozen. Play faster, you stupid idiot. Ja, 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 ja. Yeah, judge left, and now they left. They said, that was wild. GG, well played. Wow. Okay. Um, kind of surprised I didn't get frozen there for that. But yeah, that is going to be it for the two matches. I think that wasn't the greatest showcase of the Bikini Bottom deck. I definitely think there can be better combos and stuff. If you want me to release a combo video, let me know down below in the comments. And I'm going to be able to drop one. Because uh, I know there's like pretty good combos, especially if you open up like specifically like SpongeBob Master Ball. Like that's full combo. Uh, like that's actually just broken. That's like opening up like riley reed johnny sins or that that's like opening up like rescue capybara plus like uh uh oh my god angry capybara like if you if you draw hands like that like you're just not supposed to lose it's actually just like impossible to lose if you play it correctly but they just lost to the judge because they took too long but yeah that is going to be it for the matches and with that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe